Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. This is the eighth in a series of videos on the topic on existing in harmony with other beings on and beyond Earth by Alice B. Claggett. This, the eighth in the series, is entitled Novice Ascended Masters. <laughs> I'm hearing uh, the sound of of an airplane overhead and that's interesting because a lot of times I hear the channeled voices of novice ascended masters floating down from high above as if they were the great uh, cruel overlords of my energy field. A lot of times they sound like that. Um, so th the trouble about, just just to, in the beginning, the trouble about the Novice Ascended Masters is that they have an intention to become Ascended Masters, but they're not quite there yet. And as you will see from, from what I'm about to read to you, uh, that can cause some trouble for their followers because when they hit the hitch in the light, the, the dark bubble in the light, then that can ricochet in the subconscious realm and the unconscious realm of all their followers. If they have a large following, then that can be quite a commotion in the newosphere. So they're trying, but they're not quite there yet, and that creates a little trouble. All right. Novice Ascended Masters. Like all beings on Earth, humans who choose the Ascended Master path have a learning curve to go through. The first step on this path, that of the station I term novice ascended master, is no doubt the hardest. In that station, the spiritual aspirant gains all the psychic powers, but has not yet transcended ego. At this stage, the novice ascended master becomes, on the astral plane, a god of death or a force of nature. And his embodied followers will be seen to be carrying out his wishes in this regard. In other words, they may be murdering on his behalf or they may be controlling the elements of nature for their own benefit or for their own increasing wealth. From the noxious position of God of death or force of nature, the novice ascended master will eventually be released. And much more quickly so, I feel, during this time of great incoming light. In these days, here on Earth, the thousand-year journey of beingness as a god of death or a force of nature must take place in a year or two. Consequently, the novice ascended masters have been having a hard go of it since about the year 2000. This is a subsection called aspirants, that is to say, followers of novice ascended masters. Those who look up to the novice ascended masters as their gurus and spiritual guides would be much better off during these times of ascended earth to, if they were to turn to one of the great fully ascended masters, perhaps a master to whom their own beloved, novice ascended master, turned for inspiration. Or these aspirants may wish to turn to the angelic realm or to God and God alone. If they are determined to cling to their own novice ascended master, who himself is going through great suffering in clearing through his own ego and the mistakes in terms of power over he made during his last incarnation. 
then they cannot expect succor or help or aid from him. But rather, they will see exponential multiplication of their own suffering, especially if they find themselves driven to worship of those dark astral entities such as Satan, the demons, and the devils who have now left earth. In such a circumstance, they will find themselves serving no power, still honored or capable of maintaining a stronghold on awakening earth. If the error made by their guru had to do with using his psychic powers for the advancement of his group, rather than for the good of all humankind, while disregarding the issue of morality along the lines of any means to suit this noble end, then clinging to their guru during the shift will lead them to express this error in the third dimension with possible physical law enforcement ramifications for themselves. That is to say, they may be arrested for their crimes and, in worst case scenario, sent to prison for life or perhaps executed for their crimes. For more on the Novice Ascended Masters, you may look to this blog in my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com and then search for the blog Dealing with the Disincarnate Gods. I've later found that what in Hindu literature is termed the Disincarnate Gods is likely referring to the Novice Ascended Masters. So then, the state of disincarnated godhood is the trying stage that Novice Ascended Masters reach where they are on the astral plane, gods of death or forces of nature. These are two of the most awesome powers of, um, or psychic abilities. And so, it's a difficult thing to rise above them because as human beings we revel in the ability to control our environment and this is one of the most awesome means of controlling the environment. Yet I've read in the Hindu texts that those who achieve that state of disincarnate God become after a while disillusioned with it. It's just too much of the same thing over and over again. Killing and killing and killing or being the weatherman, the man who can cause a tornado, cause a hurricane, cause a thunderstorm, cause a drought, all those things. After a while, it gets a little old, you know, and that being wants to return to Earth and start fresh in his attempt to become a full-fledged Ascended Master. Well, dear ones, that's all for now. Take care, God bless, and talk to you again soon.